Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. In the US, the CPI figure was slightly upbeat and which has now sent the US dollar slightly lower and therefore has given momentum to the Australian dollar along with the support of gold. From the break of 76.65, the market is now looking towards this 60-day moving average. It's around 77 cents handle. Keep an eye on this because the technicals have strengthened up and I no doubt expect to see the move into tonight as the European session opens. Whether we get a rejection, it really depends on how strong this level is. As we look back, you can see in um, late March, we had fell very heavily in two days. So let's see if the bears are preparing for an ambush around that 70 cent handle. Looking at the euro, due to the uh, weakness in the US dollar, which measures the greenback strength against the basket of six major currencies, and the euro weighted at 57.6, has gained further momentum and is now looking towards this level of 119.7080. If we get a break here, then that could give a further stretch to the upside. Look towards the region around 120. Nevertheless, like before, we can see this sharp downturn, but from this inverted head, uh, inverted hammer, that is, the trend has been somewhat stronger. And also you can see here the candles are trying to break higher and taking the advantage of the weaker US dollar. Nevertheless, we are somewhat getting into overbought. Looking at the ADX has picked up a little bit as well in momentum to support a bullish trend. So it really depends now whether we can clear this 7080 level. Dolly M reached its target of 10870 as the yen strengthens on the back of a slightly uncertainty due to the uh, COVID vaccine after Johnson & Johnson announced, announced a halt in their vaccine with um, underneath the uh, age of 30 due to um, news sources reporting of um, blood clots from six people. But with the risk falling back on, the yen, um, yen has found a bit of appetite to save haven. Let's see if the market can hold at 108.70 from the technicals. It doesn't look like it. We could see a further extension to 108.20.30 reassess. Sterling has picked up since the rebound of 136.70 and from the doji, could see a slight increase towards the top side of the range around 138 and a half. As long as we don't break above that to 138.50.60, then I do expect to see another down challenge. But technically, we are picking up momentum. There's a bit of strength coming back into play here. With the yen strengthened, the sterling yen has actually looked at it's come back into a bit of a weaker play. Still remaining underneath this trend, which is around 150.80. You can see from the break of it earlier. The market should keep an objective down at 148.40. Looking at the gold, well, the market took the challenge to the downside, but soon reversed from that 1719.22 low. And from there, picking up momentum and now looking back into play with the bullish outside range day to 1760.65, if we can clear the level of 54. However, technically, it still looks in favour. And wrapping up with oil, well, the market is slightly rebound, shrugging off the um, recent news about the COVID vaccine. Nevertheless, we're still looking at the 61 and a half as a potential rejection area. Let's see. But the technicals have strengthened a little bit since the previous rejection. Well, that wraps it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the intraday report. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day.